Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, part two of my uh, artwork from the 30 by 30 uh, direct watercolor challenge. And uh, quickly, for those that don't know, uh, this is a, a challenge put out by um, Citizen Sketcher blog. And uh, the, the idea is not to use pencil or pen with the watercolor. So all the painting is done directly with paint and brush. All the initial drawing um, or painting is done with the brush. So um, this is day 16. Um, this is another one of my uh, dog Diego and I kind of I did another one that was similar to this um, but I liked kind of doing where it was just kind of no background it's just uh, uh, Diego and his shadow. So there's day 16. Day 17 was this one I was just trying out. I got some, for the first time, I tried some Saunders uh, Waterford watercolor paper. This is a 140 pound cold press. And I just wanted to see how the paper uh, worked compared to arches, which is what I was used to. Um, and I like it. It, it has maybe um, the cold press uh, Waterford has maybe slightly less tooth, uh, uh, less texture to it. And so I kind of like that. Not, not a hot press by any means, but uh, just a little smoother. So this was a still from a movie I had watched the night before. I had just taken a few screenshots of things that I thought might be fun to paint. There's a guy leaning against a vehicle there. Day 18, I was trying to be very quick. <laughs> and so I painted in this little tiny sketchbook. You can see how small it is in my hands there. Um, but it was just a car coming down the road. This is a, from the same movie, um, just kind of a still from the beginning of the movie. And um, uh, looking at this now, I kind of wish I had put more blues and things in the background. It's kind of a kind of a one note, kind of a green going on back there. And when I, you know, when I talk about my paintings here, and I just wanted to bring this up, I'm not really get, and I say things that I would would have done differently or that I don't like. I'm not getting down on myself. Um, but but that's how how we learn that's how you know by evaluating our work and looking at, at things that we see as being problems uh, That's how we can do better the next time. So so I'm not getting down on myself. I'm just recognizing things that um, uh, Could have gone a different way and and would improve the paintings. So anyway, that was uh, what was that? day 18 Day 19, um, I worked on this one, a little bit bigger. Um, I like to take photos when I'm traveling uh, across my state. And I saw these old uh, silos and they were, it was just kind of nice colors, oranges and blues against the greens. Um, I don't know how successful this one turned out, but um, it's okay. I do like the blues, the different blues and, and yellowy greens going on in the background. Um, they had these kind of rubber hoses wrapped around these silos and um, I followed the reference and it kind of I kind of wish I had left them out because it betrays the perspective um, of the silos because um, in a painting you, you don't know what you're looking at there and it, and it doesn't follow the curve of the buildings the way that something that's you know a fixed parallel to the ground would be so anyway that's that Day 20 was a monochromatic portrait of uh, one of my favorite artists, Edward Hopper. And if you watched my uh, portrait video, uh, the last one where I painted a girl uh, from the app Sketchy, I talked about uh, delayed clarity, where while you're working on something, it can look like it's pretty much perfect. And then when you go back and look at it later, you realize that things were off. Um, and, and that happened in this case. Um, <laughs> he almost looks like he had a stroke a little bit because um, this eye over here is a little low and his face is sagging a little bit. So um, in looking at this later, I realized that that was a problem. Um, but overall, uh, not a bad portrait, I guess, uh, especially uh, doing it in direct watercolor without getting to do a pencil sketch first. So there you go, that's uh, Edward Hopper.
Day 21 was back to an animal. Um, this was a grizzly that I shot a picture of at the Woodland Park Zoo in um, Seattle. And when I, I, I worked, started working the proportions of the bear out, um, and if you follow me on Instagram, a lot of these paintings, uh, you can see the process. I took pictures along the way. Um, but getting his proportions right, he was too far shifted this way, so I had to keep moving my tape. And so that's why the, the paintings kind of shifted over down into the bottom right-hand corner of this one. Um, one of the things I liked about this one uh, was uh, I went light. Uh, with the colors and the and the values in the background and it kind of gave it this like feeling like the background was flooded with sunlight and, and I really kind of liked how that worked out um, this bear when we were taking pictures he would just it's kind of sad actually because he would just keep doing the same route same route through his little uh, containment area and he would kind of stop in front of the window and and kind of pick up his paw and, and huff a little bit and stuff so but anyway, it gave me a nice picture of, of a bear with his mouth open and his paw up and stuff. So there's that. Oh, and I want to just real quick, this is kind of a cheesy segue. Uh, I want to do more animals of the American West. Um, and I want to uh, tell you about a channel that um, the artist uh, Steve Atkinson just does gorgeous paintings of the American West. Um, lots of scenery, uh, lots of figures. Uh, he works in oils and uh, watercolors and does some incredible pencil drawings as well. Uh, but he's kind of kicked off a new channel called Draw, Paint, Repeat. And uh, I don't endorse people that I don't think would be worth your time. And I would say that Steve's channel is definitely worth your time. He is a consummate pro. His, his work is just gorgeous. And he's willing to share... Um, his knowledge uh, with anyone who's willing to watch and his videos are just fantastic and I would say uh, yeah go check out his work um, he just won uh, first place for one of his watercolors um, in a competition he was in so yeah go check out his channel that's uh, Steve Atkinson at draw paint repeat now back to our regularly regularly scheduled programming <laughs> um, Let's see. Day 22 was this gorilla. It was another photo I took at the Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle. And I felt like this one was where I was seeing things start to pay off in terms of um, the looseness that I was uh, hoping to learn and kind of gain from this challenge. And so he's starting to show some of that. Day 23 was another animal from that same trip. This is the mighty Taper. <laughs> Just such an odd looking animal, uh, but this is another one where I was trying to stay nice and loose. Um, just let puddles of color kind of do what they wanted to do on the page um, and try to push how far I could go with um, not getting overly detailed and still have the light and, and the, uh, the effect of the piece work out. So yeah. Kind of a loose one there. Again, the mighty taper. Let's see. Day 24 was this uh, kind of portrait of my son. And he was kind of hanging out with my dog Diego there. Um, and this is a, a great example of um, one that I, I think I would, you know, these are kind of like, almost like practice, little practice paintings. Um, and I'd kind of like to go back and do like a larger version of this um, and get his likeness better. Um, just get a little more into it, get the proportions down better. Um, if you look at Diego here, his head in relation to the size of his limbs, his, his legs is way out of proportion. He's got these spindly little legs. Um, but overall, it was kind of a fun painting. Um, but there are problems I see and I'd like to do a more finished, uh, larger version of this one. Let's see, day 25 was, uh, you'll get surprised with me here, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, okay, yeah, this was um, Bella Lugosi um, as Dracula. 
just in the little pentallic sketchbook here. Um, and I thought it would be fun to kind of push the greens and the blues and just kind of have fun with the color. So that's why he's got this green blue thing going on. It almost looks like some kind of flag <laughs> across his face, but there's Dracula. That's 25, 26. 26 was the portrait I did um, and recorded for, for YouTube for my previous video. And this is another one um, where I uh, used uh, Sketchy as a, to find a reference model for this one. And if you'd like to see this one painted, go back to that uh, video um, where I do this one from start to finish. Twenty-seven was another uh, portrait from a photo I found on Sketchy. Uh, this one I didn't think was very successful. Um, I liked what was going on um, in her face early on, um, but everything just ended up getting very overworked. Um, I didn't like the blue scheme as much as I liked, and I kind of um, I think I kind of abandoned it in a way uh, while I was working on it. This probably. Um, wasn't as finished as it could be in the, I don't know. I don't like this one, um, but there it is. Let's see, that was 27, 28 was uh, this one. And this is uh, Donald Glover, um, who is an actor, but he's also uh, a recording artist. And um, I think he's kind of more of a rapper. Um, under the name Childish Gambino, and he did a video called This Is America. And this is a uh, still from that video that I thought would be fun to paint. I just thought it was an interesting pose and um, would be kind of fun to play with the, the colors and his, his skin and stuff there. Okay, let's see, 29. Two more left. 29 is still in my watercolor block here from Arches. And this is another uh, portrait from Sketchy. Don't have a lot to say about that one, uh, but there it is. And the final one was another one of my dog Diego. And I, I thought this was a, a good step in the right direction towards loosening up uh, for me. I, I don't think I would have um, probably painted anything this loose before the challenge. So um, I tried to get as, as loose as I could on this one for the final painting. And for the most part, I think it succeeds. Um, I like the, the warms and cools going on, the blue in his back there, and uh, the transitions going on in some of these other areas. But So that was day 30. Um, I just just a couple of quick things. Um, I, I thought the challenge was was great. I enjoyed it I think I learned a lot from it um, And maybe not even things that I can say hey I learned this or I learned that almost like things that my subconscious has picked up and 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 kind of carried over into each new painting um, things like loosening up and and uh, seeing proportions maybe a little more quickly things like that. So anyway, yeah Good challenge, uh, good thing to do. If you ever have a chance, or even if you just push yourself and schedule yourself uh, to paint every day for a while, it's a great exercise. And uh, even as old as I am, I was able to uh, pick up some new tricks. So anyway, there's that. And I wanna say real quick, thank you to everybody who's subscribed recently, and even those of you who have subscribed in the past. Um, I really appreciate it, I really appreciate all the questions, the comments, um, just everything. Uh, it, it makes doing this a lot easier to know that there are people out there who are appreciating it and, and watching it. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it. All right, well, I'll see you next time and uh, take care.